Ukraine called it the largest Russian aerial barrage to date. Moscow's troops launching hundreds of drones and missiles on Monday. Ukraine using U.S.-made F-16 jets to help repel the attack. Now, Kiev acknowledging one of the F-16s crashed, killing one of Ukraine's top fighter aces, Alexei Mies, known by his call sign, Moonfish. Few Ukrainian fighter pilots were more instrumental in lobbying partners to give Ukraine the F-16s than Moonfish. This war uh, does not appear to end soon. If West will provide us with some additional jets, with uh, some additional SAMs, and we're we're really looking forward to it. We I think we will be able to uh, control our sky for 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 a while. It's really a super fun jet to fly. I'm not saying that a uh, MiG that I flew before is, is super boring, but the F-16 is definitely more agile. It easily moves. The moment you think of something, it it turns. If not not for that, uh, who knows what the situation on the ground and in the in the air would be right now? And uh, we we're we're asking for that support to keep flowing, keep moving to Ukraine because uh, the heavy fighting is going on. The map of, of that invasion, uh, every part that is taken by Russians is uh, almost, um, uh, it, it is hard to reach for us because of that, uh, that l large number of surface, surface air missiles they pulled out of their territory. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky had been asking Western allies for the F-16 since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion warning that Ukraine's air force was becoming more and more depleted and that its old Soviet-era planes couldn't match up against Russia's newer aircraft. Moonfish and another pilot known by the call sign Juice became the faces of the campaign to get the F-16s to Ukraine's skies. Juice was killed in a plane crash just over a year ago before ever flying the jets. On Tuesday, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said the Ukrainian Air Force used the F-16 to destroy missiles and drones launched by Russia on Monday, the first time any Ukrainian official confirmed the jets were being used in combat.